Welcome back to my channel. This is my second video ever. and Today we're going to have another look at the Pinebook Pro, but this time with natural light. Now that the clocks have changed back here in the States, I won't be coming home from work in the daylight, so I want to give you a nice view in natural light today. Now, so I'll, the unit, I have not turned it on yet. So for those who are curious and seeing a better light, you see the ports they have on the side, the rear, the other side, the bottom with the speakers and the footrests, 10 screws which are very easily accessible if you need to get into the unit. One thing some people commented on in the forums is that the Pinebook Pro is a fingerprint magnet, and it is. Now, I just have a cloth which I just wipe it down with, but it's one thing which in a future iteration, maybe there could be some improvement. Now it's been three days since I received the unit. I have yet to turn it on. One, I've been a little bit too busy. And two, I want to make sure I videotaped it so you can all see the first time it gets turned on what happens. Now there were some units that were shipped. Uh, DHL, again, shipped very quickly. But some units had the uh, drive come loose in shipment. This one's not rattling, so I'm optimistic that once I hit this power button, we're going to have something come up. So I want to thank you all for the comments on the previous video. Uh, I will continue to post things as people see it uh, valuable and useful for them. So in my next video I'll probably be doing unscrewing and putting the NVMe adapter and drive in. But first I want to thank Luke from the forums for keeping us all updated. And so you see it's already up. Now Debian Mate by uh, Mr. Fixit 2001 is what it comes with by default. If I have a chance, I'll do other videos showing some other operating system installs and usage. So one thing to know is the default credentials are rock, rock, lowercase r for both the username and the password. quick. So if you've been reading the forums, one of the first things they tell you to do is, one, have it fully powered up and charged. Not that you'd have a long-term problem if it wasn't charged the first time you do the update, but you'd have some problems with the, the battery indicator. It might show less than full charge or less time remaining on the charge than it would have. So do what I did, charge it up fully before you turn it on for the first time and do your first update. Well, before we can do an update, I need to connect my Wi-Fi. to my 5G connection. And for this one, I'm going to turn the unit around so I can type my password in. Let's see if I got that right. Nope. lucky, I typed in the right password, connection established, now on my network. We are a little far away from my base and I haven't done any upgrades yet, but right next to the indicator of the battery is the update script button. So we'll give it a shot, try to pull the latest version. Ah, this is not a secret password, rock. So we'll check for install, yes. Okay. So according to the forums, the last update was October 15, 2019. Now for us in the States who saw 15, 10, 2019, it's a little bit different than what we expect at 10, 15, 2019, but it makes much more sense to show the day of the month first. Okay, so downloading the updates. Let's go to full screen. Please reboot for these changes to take effect. Okay. Quit. 
and restart. See how quickly it applies and reboots. Log in again. Default credentials of rock, rock. And there we are. That's about where I'm going to end this video today. I just wanted to show the process of getting it up and running the first time, show you how quickly it boots, give you a better look in natural light. But before I move on, there's a few comments in the uh, forums and also on the YouTube channel about power adapter. So one of the comments I made was that the adapter that came with the Pinebook Pro, very light, I thought that was a nice feature compared to what I have on my corporate laptop. Just to give you a point of reference, when I said it was extremely light, let's first I'll give a quick way of what the work unit is. So for those who are road warriors like I used to be, 315 grams for your basic HP, very modern adapter, just got the, the unit less than a week ago, whereas the Pinebook adapter is 103 grams, so much lighter weight. So for those traveling, it's easier. But one very valid point was, oh, I don't like wall warts. You have to have the space to actually plug it in. And my comment back was maybe just a small adapter like this, which would add another 70 or so grams to it. So here we are again, Pinebook Pro. I closed it without actually putting it to suspend. And what I should be doing is hitting the function escape and Z for suspend. Now closing it should work most of the time, but that's it for now. I'll try to make some more videos on in the future.